it's Halloween time and YouTube is full of videos about Five Nights at Frankie's, Bender and the Ink Thing, Splenda Man, I think. I don't really follow horror games or what's trending, but for those of us who prefer lower resolution and the days where the number of bits a console had to determine which one was better, there's Castlevania. A series that's been going, well, not strong. It's had its ups and downs, but I've already talked about it a few times here on the channel. And with the re-re-re-release of Rondo and Symphony, Season 2 of the Netflix series, and of course, Smashlevania All in the Horizon, not to mention I recently played through Aria of Sorrow on the Facebook page, Shameless plug. I think it's time to give a proper review to a game in the Castlevania series, but not one of the actual games that will be too relevant. This is Kid Dracula on the Game Boy. Rather than being a kid version of Dracula, Kid Dracula is apparently the non-canonical son of Dracula, or maybe a version of Alucard. There's some evidence there, but I won't get into it now. In the original Famicom game, Gallimoth steals Dracula's cape and Kid Dracula has to get it back. The original game looks fantastic especially for the Famicom. Everything is so colorful and the first level was a great homage to the original Castlevania. The rest of the game is okay. The Game Boy version, which we actually got in the US, is a sequel slash remake. One thing that sets the Game Boy version apart from the Famicom version is the cutscenes. There aren't many, but they at least give you an idea of what's going on. Gallimoth is back and all the monsters from Dracula's army switch sides. Except for Death. He's still there to support, or rather scold, Kid Dracula. As you can see, this game is super cute. Kid Dracula is like a mixture of Goku and Gon with a little bit of Naruto thrown in. All the monsters from Castlevania have been chibi-fied and the sprite work is phenomenal for the Game Boy. Since this is a spin-off, Konami weren't limited to the classic Castlevania gameplay, and this actually plays more similarly to Mega Man. You'll mostly be attacking by shooting instead of whipping, and the jumps are much easier to control. Your basic attack is a fireball that can be shot in four directions and charged. Throughout the game, Kid Dracula remembers spells that replace the charge shot, like turning into a bat, throwing bats in a circular pattern, and a homing shot. Hitting enemies with a charge attack makes them drop coins, which can be used for minigames. Even though we haven't seen a Kid Dracula game in over 25 years, he has appeared in other Konami games. He's a playable character in multiple entries of the Parodia series, makes a cameo in one of the Twinbee games, and is an item in Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Yeah, speaking of games that need a reboot, this is a very fun platform. The graphics are fantastic for the Game Boy, the music is good, and I highly recommend it. The only downside is that the actual cart is super expensive, so if you find an alternative way of playing it, go for it. And that's all, a pretty quick and simple review for a pretty simple game. If you like this video, please hit like subscribe, follow me on Facebook where I do stream almost daily, and on all other social media at Crash Love Gaming. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.